Live from across the tri-states, this is KHQA This Morning. It's your news now. Won't be the same either. Is Madison Park there today in Quincy? Because Kristen Aguirre is live on the scene. Talking about what's going on and what's uh, new there this morning, Kristen? Good morning. That's right. The tennis courts here at Madison Park recently just got a revamping. This morning, we're going to show you exactly what is brand new, and we're even going to get some tennis lessons. We'll dive into everything coming up after the break. You're watching KHQA This Morning. Kristen Aguirre is out and about in the Tri-State area in Quincy this morning. She joins us live from Madison Park to tell us what new addition you might be seeing there. Good morning. That's right. We are live here at Madison Park and we are talking tennis this morning. So with me now is Mike Bruns from the Quincy Park District. Now tell us a little bit about what's new here on this court. Uh, here at Madison, we just got done uh, about a month ago resurfacing the two main courts. Uh, they've been brand new resurfaced, relined. They went with the blue green colors with the USTA is doing and we did at South Park also a couple years ago. And on these courts, we also did blended lines, which are 60 foot lines, which allow younger kids or adults, anybody of all ages and ability to play here. And then also on the far side, two years ago, we did 36 foot courts, which are a little smaller courts for all ages and ability to play on. So basically right now at this complex, which is the only one in town, where you have all three size courts in one facility. So the whole family could come out and play. Uh, you know, mom and dad could be on the full regulation courts. Uh, maybe younger kids could be on the blended line courts, and then the real little kids could be over on the 36-foot courts. So it just makes it a great and a great teaching center for lessons and all kinds of things to do because you have the ability of all three sizes of courts. Now, the tennis season is wrapping up, but these courts are open all year round. Oh, yeah, exactly. They're open all year round as long as, you know, the weather cooperates. Uh, you know, this park never closes, you know, sunrise to, to 11 o'clock at night, although there's not lights on this particular court. Some of our courts have lights, but, yeah, people are welcome to come out and play whenever they like. Well, just because the lessons here are wrapping up doesn't mean you can't play all year round. You could take play on these courts. But we're also coming up a little bit later in the show. We'll tell you about a club that you can join that can help you work on your tennis moves all year round. Day two and Kristen is still in a jacket at 530 in the morning. It's not supposed it's to be this way actually not as cold <laughs> as it was yesterday. I can't yeah. see my breath, so that's a plus. Good to know. Well, checking live with her at Madison Park. That's right. What's going on over there, Kristen? Good morning. What's going on is this revamped tennis courts. Now, the uh, Park District went ahead and revamped all these tennis courts. And with me now is Monica Hincamper, who is part of the Quincy Racquet Club. Now, you're a coach, Monica. Why are these new lines and blended lines so good? It's wonderful for 10 and under tennis because the kids get to uh, go on a gradual learning process, whereas before we would have them, we would use the um, service line and forward to teach them. But now we actually have lines where they can play, they can see. Um, and then as they get stronger, they may move back and use the baseline. So these are great for any ability of, of, uh, of playing tennis. Yes, absolutely. I've actually implemented them for the last eight to nine years. Um, the lines haven't been there. I've put out spots, but I've used them for my beginner adults and beginner um, high school and underage students. So this is, this is wonderful. So With these have the, the lines, you can actually still see them, but they don't um, interfere with actual play. So the blended lines are for kind of maybe beginners, and then the, the solid white lines are for? Absolutely. For a little bit intermediate to advanced players or those who are strong enough and can move around the court better. Now, the Quincy Park District's tennis season is coming to an end, but you are at a club that you can play all year round. So right. tell me a little bit about it. Um, I'm general manager of the Quincy Racquet Club and director of tennis. And uh, we have classes that basically go from August 26th all the way through the entire year, through the summer. Um, we coordinate with the park district during the summertime to help out also. But uh, we have you, young youth, four-year-olds, to all the way to adult. Adults. All right, so if you're interested in learning about tennis, make sure you check out the Quincy Racquet Club. And for more information on the new revamped courts here, make sure you visit the Madison Park or check out our website, connecttristates.com. Okay. No. A good day to hit the, the courts and not get too much. Good morning. We are showing you the new revamped courts here at Madison Park. Check out these tennis courts. Now they just had, they were just resurfaced and their lines were resurfaced. With me now is Mark Schuring, who is with the U.S. Tennis Association. Now, Mark, you kind of had a hand in kind of getting these all revamped. Right. We, we actually had two of the um, uh, courts were done at uh, Upper Mormon two years ago, four out at South Park. This is the 
another uh, transition to the blue-green courts, which are the U.S. Open colors. The U.S. Open's coming up in a couple weeks here. And uh, they are also lined with what we call blended lines. So uh, these courts actually have additional lines that are somewhat transparent for uh, younger players to play on. Uh, they're at the 60-foot level. So a full court, 78-foot, the next size down, 60-foot. And then on the far side, uh, Mike Bruns and the Quincy Park District folks actually turned one court into four 36 by 18 courts. Now, you actually also uh, helped with the youth tennis group this summer. Yep. Now, how important were these lines with them? Well, I think what the United States Tennis Association has figured out is that with the younger players, to have them get some instant success, keep the ball in play, learn the strokes the right way, that um, they um, have gone to these stage balls, uh, less pressure in the bigger red ball than to the orange ball, a little more pressure and smaller in size, and then the green ball before they go to a regular yellow ball. So actually, let's show Mark these really quick. So this is, this is the beginner tennis ball. Correct. This is the in the middle, right? right. right? And then this is right before we get the yellow tennis exactly. ball. Exactly. So uh, coming up a little bit later in the show, Mark is actually going to show me how to swing this <laughs> this tennis racket because I have no idea what I'm doing and I'm going to go up against Ruben who has been playing since we got here at 4:45 a.m. He has been nonstop, so I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm going to challenge Ruben and see if he could if I could take him on in, in a tennis match. I love this. Oh, I was just about to retweet your tweets there, uh, Kristen. She's got all sorts of pictures coming out of her live shot this morning. You want to check her out on Twitter. Tri-States is a brisk morning and we find Kristen Aguirre across town in Quincy at Madison Park this morning. She's kind of brave in the cool weather too. Good morning. That's right. It's a little bit chilly out here, but that's not stopping us from playing some tennis. So with me now is Mark Shearing from the U.S. Tennis Association. Now, what, what do we need to know about the tennis basics? First, let's start with our racket. Well, most adult rackets are 27, 27 and a half inches. This is a 21 inch racket. You've got a 23 inch racket and our demonstrator Ruben today has is uh, moved up the stage to a 26 inch racket. So how do you pick which one you, you want Actually to size. There's a chart out at the Quincy Racket Club that uh, will show you what their size and when their hand dropped down and I know uh, Monica Hinkamper, Todd Willing and the folks there will be able to size those up. Uh, most of this, the places that will sell the different size tennis rackets and different kind of tennis balls okay. will, will uh, kind of inform me. And there's a USTA website also spells it out for you as well. Awesome. So ne next we need to know is, is our swing. So how, I don't even know. I mean, if I was playing, I would just yep. go like this. <laughs> uh, swing's important. Lessons are important. The Quincy Park District summer lessons get a lot of people started at the grassroots uh, level. Uh, I've got uh, 11 grandchildren and five of them are, are out at the Quincy Racquet Club taking lessons. Uh, there are some very basic things you can do though. Uh, you can take a rubber ball and actually have your youngster throw the ball, a big rubber playground ball, over the net uh, to their right to uh, replicate if you're right-handed a forehand and vice versa for a backhand. We did that in the youth team tennis this summer and it required very little instruction for these youngsters. Somebody so Ruben, like Ruben's been playing. Why don't you show us a, a little bit of your swing? He is a machine. Ruben has been playing all morning nonstop. We actually had to tell him to take a break. So Ruben, why don't you show us really quick some of your, your swing? You ready, Ruben? Look at that, he takes two Look in a at, row. He's, he's doing two at <laughs> once. Now let, let me see if I can do one. Well, I need to practice a little bit more. Coming up later in the show, we're going to continue to practice our swing here, and I'm going to challenge Ruben. From the looks of it, I need to practice a little bit more. Good morning. Well, I am gearing up to take on Ruben Goldschmidt this tennis pro right here. Now he's been playing all morning. He hasn't even broken a sweat. I've swung the racket about three times and I'm already sweating. So Ruben, do you think I can take you? Um, I'll thank you just the end. I don't think so. <laughs> you don't think so? Now you have been playing tennis since you were how old? Uh, three or four, I can Three or four and now you're 10. So how long did it take you to practice to, to get so good? Um, well, <coughs> I've practiced a lot and I in my garage sometimes. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about tennis? Um, you always get to play. During practice, you're always hitting the ball and then the game. All right. Well, enough talking, Ruben. Let's get our challenge on. So we have Mark Schering over there from the uh, the U.S. Tennis Association. Now he's going to throw us a few balls and we'll see who can hit the most. So let's start with Ruben. Okay. Ah. Yes. Ooh, 
I'm not, I'm not doing bad. I'm not doing bad. Ruben, look at that swing. Oh, I think that was even to me. Oop! Oh, I already lost. Oh. Yes! Okay, I got, I, got a, I got a few over. That's not too bad. So, Ruben, do you think with a little bit more practice I could be as good as you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to continue to play some tennis here. And coming up a little bit later in the show, we're going to continue to show you where you can check out here the new revamped tennis courts here at Madison Park. That's a Sounds lot of fun. fun. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's fun, especially when it's nice and cool out like it was today. Or is, I should say. It's... I didn't do as bad as I thought I was going to do. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're doing really great, especially since you don't get out and about with the tennis courts. I can't with her now. Good morning. That's why we are live here at Madison Park in Quincy, and we are talking about their revamped court. So, Mike, tell me a little bit about what you guys did here. Uh, there are two main courts here. We went to the U.S. State blue color, uh, the blue green with the blue, the plain surface or whatever that you'll see coming up here in a couple of weeks in the U.S. Open. You watch their course, you'll see there. So we have the same thing here in Quincy, Illinois. And then we also put blended lines, 60 foot lines on the courts. So people of all ages and ability really can come and play. They don't have to worry about playing on a full size courts. And then a couple years ago, we added the 36 foot courts right behind us for smaller uh, age children to play on. So it just makes it a complete tennis center for all ages. Now, uh, Mark sharing here, you actually had a hand in kind of developing all this. You're from the U.S. Tennis Association. Now, why were these lines so important for especially young kids learning how to play tennis? Well, I, the USTA has realized as a, and I'm a volunteer with the USTA in Midwest, but uh, th this is uh, how the stage tennis works best for different ages, different sizes. Uh, we've, like you see in basketball and other sports, I mean, the bottom line is uh, you don't see a, 10 year old shooting at, at a 10 foot basketball hoop or playing on a full size soccer field. And that's what this is about. Now we definitely do have one student or one player here that does play in a full court and it's Ruben. Now Ruben kicked my butt earlier in our little tennis off. Now what would you good advice you'd give to people that are just starting out, maybe kids starting out playing tennis? Um, well, you should definitely go here with the lines and Practice, practice, practice. Practice and don't try to get the biggest racket. It does not help. <laughs> <laughs> Wise words from Ruben. Well, for more information on all the revamped core here, make sure you check out our website at connecttristates.com. I really like Ruben. 